in this demonstration we're going to tune some VVs into different CPGs and convert the type of VVs. So let's first get into our system here and we'll create some CPGs that we'll be using for testing. There's C3PJ, CPG FC, and we'll say um, FC RAID 5 Availability Magazine Create Plus and 3PJ CPG Nearline and we'll do Nearline RAID 6 and that's fine Create okay and then those two CPGs are going to uh, be created just take a second let's just go ahead and jump over to virtual volumes and we'll create a virtual volume, say 3PJVV1. And we'll do thinly provisioned, and we'll put that into the FC CPG, let's say uh, 100 gigabytes. Uh, you could do extra settings if you wanted to, let's say, disable copy space you can take it out of there or you can put your copy space into something else already um, I'm just gonna let's put it in the other one I'll show you both things here there we go so we'll just leave copy space in the default one we'll just click create and then we'll create another one I should have done create plus but say 3PJ uh, VV2 3PJ FC again same size we'll do I just I want to be able to show you the differences here so 3PJ we're gonna put snap space into near line and then click create All right, and then when we look at this volume I can go to map view and that'll show me the system the CPG that has both user space and copy space or snapshot space that's associated to this volume when I go to this one, it'll show you the system and that user space is in RAID 5 FC and copy space or snap space is in RAID 6 near line for this volume. Okay, so let's tune this one into the near line CPG. So we'll just do a tune right here and we'll say user space. Uh, we can tune it in the same CPG if we wanted or we're going to move it. So we're going to move it into the near line one. All right, and then we'll see this split. The, so you'll have two CPGs. The user CPG will be in near line, and the copy space will still be in FC. There you go. And let's go ahead and now tune the copy space into near line as well. So same thing. We'll do a tune, but now we're going to select copy space and move into another CPG. And we'll put that in your line. Click Tune. And once that completes, we'll just see user slash copy in the near line CPG. There we go. Okay, so now what we've done is we've taken one volume that was in the FC CPG RAID 5 and moved it into a nearline RAID 6 CPG. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this one, which is uh, currently user space FC and copy space nearline. And we're gonna tune this first volume, or I'm sorry, we're gonna tune the copy space, or <laughs> not even the copy space. We're gonna let's start that over. Okay, so let's look at this other volume here. And what we want is we want to take this uh, volume, which should be thinly provisioned. And we'll look at the overview here. Thinly provisioned. All right, and we're going to convert that into a dedupe volume in SSD space. So that means we're going to have to create another CPG. So let's go ahead and do that. Common provisioning groups, create one. 3PJ 
CPG SSD. And we'll say RAID 5 for that too. Magazine create. Okay, back to volumes. And on this volume here, and let's convert that from fully provisioned to dedupe. And we're going to move it into 3PG SSD because you can only have a dedupe volume pinned into an SSD tier anyway. So if I'm going to convert it to dedupe, then it has to be moved into the SSD tier. So we'll just say convert. And we'll do two things. I'll go back to map view here. And what we should see is the user space CPG has now changed to the SSD CPG. And then when we go to overview, we'll see that the provisioning type is actually dedupe now. All right now, one thing to notice here is the copy space is still in near line, which means copy space is not deduped. It's um, really TPVV anyway. So um, we could move that if we wanted to into the SSD space, or we could just leave it right where it's at. But I just wanted to show you uh, the ability to tune a volume into a different type as well. And of course we can take it back too. So if you wanted to convert that volume to a thinly provisioned volume, and we can even keep it in the same CPG if you want. So let's just keep it there. We'll just say that we moved it into the SSD tier, but we decided we didn't want to dedupe it anymore. We wanted it to be thinly provisioned. So once that conversion completes, we'll see the provisioning type change to thinly provisioned. I have to refresh this page. Let's see. There we go. So now it's thinly provisioned. There you go. Uh, converting volumes, tuning volumes uh, from CPGs and RAID configuration and, and tuning from one type to another. Good luck.